you're in for a surprise. Yes. The beginnings of the stampeding season. My dogs love the sheep food. You'd think I starve them. Java, you've got to be aware there's going to be an incident that is going to occur. Can you get down, Crestle? Kestrel? Leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. And they're all there feeding. I'm gonna go check the orchard. Oh, hello, kitty. How are you? You beautiful kitty. Yeah. You beautiful kitty. Go and check the bales of hay. Let's go on in and have a wander. And there, you make an appearance. I was wondering where you were. I'd say most of the windfall apples have been cleared up. Look at this magnificent display of dead man's fingers. That's that fungus called, yes, kitty, dead man's fingers. It's really beautiful. They feel kind of like sticks, little sticks coming out of the ground. Dead man fingers don't scratch you though, do they? You like having a good scritch. Anyway, onwards to the other end to see how the bale of hay is doing. Some people might ask, who is this that poops so high up on the wall? It's not a cat. Not a dog, not a hedgehog. That's pine marten poops. They have a distinct stink to them as well. So this is a pine marten highway right here. Oh, you're here, huh? You gonna sniff that pine marten food? Uh, food, poop. What are you looking at? Something's in the undergrowth. But see, there's one poop there. And there's another poop there. Whoops. So those are pine marten. This is a uh, scent marked area. So that must be some pine marten has this area staked out. Yeah, I know. So that's the neighbors. And then here's the orchard with uh, Brindle having a lovely apple and the hay bale having been attacked. So looking good. This wall here, we um, rejuvenated and rebuilt our boundary wall. And in this wall, we made little bird houses or bat houses. These are all along here. There's a whole bunch of them that we did, that I got the lads who were doing the wall to put in every so often. Some were, that's a natural formation in a rock and, or a stone that we put up. And then other ones aren't. Well, that's another natural formation there. And I wanted them to be a particular height. There's another natural formation and look, Here's another one of these as well. What? Really? Oh. <laughs> so that's what you're doing. <laughs> oh. Well, I've got to get under the trees. I can't help it. There we go. We're going to walk back and see how the sheep are. But I can't wear my hat. Because a certain person will have, would have knocked it off. Are you going to jump down? Are you going to stay up? 
as I walk through the trees? Or will I let you off at a branch? Here, we'll go up to this branch and see if you want to get off on it. Here you go. Do you want to get off on that branch? No? Look, there's a branch. No? You want to stay on my shoulder as I walk back through the orchard. <laughs> there's still apples hanging on the trees. Rotten apples hanging on the trees. <laughs> oh, look, I'm an apple head. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Time. Kitty time. Having a ride on my shoulder back across the orchard. Coming back up, the sheep finished seeding. Some of them have anyway. No Java, leave it. Good boy. Okay, switch this around. How are you, sweetie? You good girl, ear feather. Yeah, you wanna wear my hat? No, you don't like hats. I don't blame you. You've got a woolly hat anyway. Hey girls. Yeah. I still have, oh, he's squishing me now. I'm really, I'm going to see if I can unload you on this branch up here. Can you get off on this branch? Go on. There we go. Good boy. Oh, you're a heavy cat. He's all muscle from hunting and the like. Hello you, you're such a handsome boy, yeah. My cats all love to come out to the orchard. No, oh! <laughs> oh. He didn't land on my shoulder because <laughs> of my shout of surprise. He jumped off immediately. <laughs> Silly cat. Everybody's had their meal. Okay. Hey, Kestrel. No, not Kestrel. Crystal, how are you? Yes. Yes. How are you, sweetie? Yes. You good girl. Cat's being chased by a sheep. Okay. Right. The light is fading. Time for me to go inside. No, I've got to bring the horses in first because we're having a really, really wet night.